Hey guys, today I'm going to cook two jumbo artichokes in the Instant Pot. So let's apply some pressure. I've got my Instant Pot here. This is the Instant Pot Ultra. I put three cups of water in there and then I've got two of these jumbo artichokes and this is real simple. All I usually do is just cut the stem off a little bit just so they'll fit a little bit better but also this bottom is usually a little bit not so great and I don't trim the leaves or anything this one looks like maybe a little bit dirty so I'm just going to rinse it off a little bit and I can fit two these are um, I have the sticker on there these are globe artichokes so rinse this off and we'll get it in the pot like that and then I'll do the same thing to the other one I do this all the time. Two of them just fit in there. These are $3.99 a piece, which is a little bit expensive. A lot of times during season, you get them like two for $5 or two for $4, but I like them, so I just decided to get some. Anyway, now we'll get the lid on there. I'm gonna cook this on the pressure cook setting for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna let the pressure release naturally, so they'll be in the pot quite a bit longer than that. I'll let you know how long it takes. It's been an hour and five minutes and that pressure pin just dropped. I always let the pressure release naturally because I like these really soft and tender. So now they're gonna be really hot. I'm usually not in a hurry to eat these when I do these because they're, they're really hot and they're hard to eat when they're really hot. So I just let them cool down for a while, but as soon as they cool off a little bit, we'll try one out. But see the leaf pulls right off of there and they're nice and tender. You can get the stuff off with your teeth pretty easily. These have been cooling off for about a half hour or so. See if I can get them out of there. Sometimes they fall apart because it gets so tender. I'm using a spoon to put under it. Actually, that worked pretty good. See if I can get them both out of there. There we go. This is really soft. See how the leaves are just falling right off. Now, if you've ever never eaten one of these, I'll show you how you do it. I'll take a big leaf like that, and you, you just eat the underside of the leaf. So I like to dip it in some mayonnaise. Then you just take your bottom teeth and pull it off like that. I've always thought these were fun to eat, even when I was a kid. I guess I'll just keep eating this and eat the whole thing till I get down to the heart. Then you can see what that part looks like if you haven't done this. So see, even now all this along the stem, it comes off and you can eat that too. This comes off like that. As you work your way through this, the leaves get more tender the farther you get into it. But see how far down you can get all that off the leaf? That Cook them in the um, Instant Pot like that makes them really tender. Some people trim all the top part of the leaf off like that, but I don't see what the point is. That's your handle. Once you start getting to the middle here, the, the leaves get thinner and thinner like that. And then, what you can do is just pull the whole thing off. Pull that part out of there. That's kind of a bunch of seed kind of stuff and then you can just dip the whole thing in the mayonnaise like that and just bite the edges off like that and then this part here you pull these seeds out of the center there's like fuzzy seeds and then you have that and you can eat all that and if the stems not too tough you can eat the whole stem as well so you can just dip that in there like that and eat all of that. So that's how you eat an artichoke. Or if any, you'll eat a little bit of the artichoke. This is just the center part that's soft. We could try. Well, what the heck? She did eat it. I'm surprised. <laughs> that's the only way I cook artichokes anymore. I used to do them on the stove, but those big ones that take hour, hour and a half, then you forget about them and boil them dry. Then you just stick them in there and forget about them. Come back later. <laughs> anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.